Oh, hi there. Geocaching public service announcement. Do you have lots of favorite points to give in your geocaching account and you're just like, I don't have any good geocaches in my area to give favorite points to. Well, do I have the place for you? That is Gilby, North Dakota, the Disneyland of geocaching. This is the home of Tri Cassius. He is a premier hider, one of the best hiders in the world. This whole area, as far as I can see, is filled with amazing geocaching. So you need to come here and give yours to these caches. Let's go find it. Hello, geocachers. My name is Tri Cassius. I am from the eastern side of North Dakota in the small town of Gilby. My specialty, I think, is putting out gadget caches. I've got all kinds of weird ideas, weird things out in the trees that you would never expect to find around a small rural community like Gilby. People around Gilby are excited when they find out that people are coming to Gilby just for geocaches. They think it's very odd, but, but uh, people come up to Gilby just to find these caches that I've put out. I started in 2008 and three months later I, I hid my first geocache and from the beginning I wanted to make different caches that I've been finding. My very first one was at the time I thought was pretty smart. I took an old stump I hollowed it out and put a container in there and of course the hint was are you stumped yet and you know at the time in 2008 I thought that was pretty good and I think it was my fifth cache that I made, that's when things really started going over the top. And from there, I just kept building more and more bizarre caches. Here we go. What the? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? My favorite cache is, is definitely Driving Miss Daisy. Uh, it's completely out of the unexpected that you go out into the middle of a group of trees and then you find this goofy little thing and you have to get back in your car and race down the road to get the wind to blow through it to generate electricity and, and turn on the code on the machines. Yeah, driving this daisy is definitely my, my favorite one. Strong Man at the Fair I really like and then Little Strong Man at the Fair. I, I get a kick out of the logs I read on that one because they're, they're going to beat that poor thing to death trying to find and get the cash out. I have a fairly well stocked shop. Several uh, tools are available. I do carpentry work in my regular hours. In my off hours, of course, I'm out designing geocaches. I have always been creative and geocaching has given me an outlet for that. I have worked with a couple of the state parks in the area to help hide caches. Pemina and Walsh County Historic Society has invited me in to help them put out some geocaches in the historical areas they have in, this, in those two counties. Geocache has also invited me to help her with the geo tour in the Fargo-Moorhead area, along with cachers M&MO and Onion Pond and a couple of artist friends of hers. We created an awesome geocache tour. We had a small event that called Gilby Gone Wild and we had people from eight different states there uh, roughly 120 people, I think. It really surprises me in you know, my small little community that I've got people coming from all over the United States. One thing I didn't expect when I started geocaching was all the friends I would meet along the way. Going to events is one of my favorite things to get to visit with all the people that come to them. In Bemidji, Minnesota, there's a geocacher named Pink Monkey 2. And every year she puts on a maker event. So at the event you bring uh, a goofy item of some sort and it gets traded to, to some of the other caches who are there. And when, so you bring that home with you and you build that into a geocache and a month later you come back to the second event to show off what you created. Tennis rackets, crutches, vacuum hose is another one that, that a cache that I made out of all, all because of this maker event. I enjoy making fun caches and it brings a lot of people from all over the U.S. and into Canada to come into Gilby just to find these odd little puzzles I put out in the trees.